Hello guys, welcome back once again. So in the previous session, we learnt about the firewall that what exactly the firewall is. Then we focused on the next generation firewall and legacy firewalls, right? And another thing that we are learning for the Palo Alto firewall. So, but it is very important to know the difference that where exactly the Palo Alto firewall stands against the another vendors in the market. So in order to uh, analyze that how our Palo Alto firewall lies, is it good, it is bad. So for that one, let's go to the search via Gardner. So we are having a outcome, uh, the comparison between the different uh, leaders in the market, right? So this is just a comparison that what exactly our firewall is. So if we take about the challengers, leaders, so in the leader section, we are having the three firewalls. This is the study based on the research on the 2022 by Gartner. Although we are having the looking on the website of the Fortinet, but basically these are the Gartner's magic quadrant. So Fortinet is one of the leader. Uh, Palo Alto Networks, one of the leader and another is our checkpoint. So these three firewalls in the are the leaders in the firewall segment. So this can be like in the below or it can be like that one. But as it is, uh, they are all are in the same section. So all three are the leaders in the market. We are also having like challengers, which is Cisco, which is quite competing with this. We have Alibaba Cloud, Juniper, Huawei. They are different like specific uh, firewalls like niche means that they are having specific things in their firewalls like AWS, Sonic Wall, S3C. Similarly, we are having some visionaries like they are having good, but not as of now. But these are the market leaders. So whatever we are learning the Palo Alto firewall that we are on the trend right now. All right, guys. So let's focus that what exactly we are going to uh, cover in this uh, series of our Palo Alto firewall. All right, guys. So in this session, I'm going to first cover very basic that what exactly the firewall is that I have already covered. So first I will be covering up that what exactly the firewall is that I have already taken in the first session. Another thing that the config setup like uh, in the EVNG, I can tell you the brief, but not in the too detail, right? Another thing like policies that what are the security policies, but before that security policies, I will be covering up like uh, what is the zones. What are the security zones? What are the interface types that I will be covering up? So in the interface types, we are having like tap, HA, virtual wire, right? L2, L3, layer two, layer three. So those things we are having in the interface types that we will be covering up. And in the policies, we also come up with the NAT. So let's take NAT another topic. So inside the NAT, so NAT is basically two types we can say. One type we can do as SNAT, that is basically the source IP address is being translated. And then we will cover up the DNAT, that is destination IP address is being translated. While doing these, we will also learn that what are the use cases of this when we use SNAT, when we use DNAT. Once we cover up with the policies and NAT, we will be having the some understanding of our firewalls. Later on, we will be covering up the SP3 architecture. So that is very important just in the case of PA because that is not supported in other firewalls. 
sp3 stands for the single path parallel processing so this is like unique feature in the palo alto firewall and in the most of the interviews it is being asked just simply ask that what is this sp3 architecture what you know by sp3 or what understanding you have over the sp3 so this will also cover up our packet flow that uh, whenever the packet enters our firewall what it looks on the packet based on which criteria it takes decision whether that this packet is allowed or denied or not does it includes does the nat or not after that one how the packet is going outside of our interface so packet flow it means that basically covers that what actions or the features are uh, no implemented inside the firewall later on we may come up with the identity awareness identity awareness is basically user awareness that uh, you don't want to allow the ip uh, traffic based on the ip addresses you just uh, uh, create a one user name of like xyz user and this xyz user is allowed to go outside of the traffic or not for this concept we can also take the help of any ad server that we can integrate or we can directly create a user inside our firewall that user i'm talking about that is not the user accessing this firewall for the configuration so there are two types of user that admin users means that you will be making the config changes on this firewall another users that normal laptop users uh, which are in your organization and they are trying to access internet or any server and based on their user name they will be allowed or denied to reach the destination whenever we talk about the admin these are just uh, like guys like us that does the having the admin but i'm talking about the normal users who are inside our machine another thing uh, we can have like uh, url filtering so we can also have like a file blocking another utm features utm stands for the unified threat monitoring right or any malicious content is coming to our url so those things we can allow or block another things we can do like uh, ha configuration ha is basically our high availability means that one of the firewall goes down then what will happen for the traffic so we are having the two firewalls in parallel we can say in the cluster so they are having connected with each other the traffic is going if any of the firewall goes down the traffic is immediately shifted to the another one so it avoids the outage of our network that whatever the sessions or users were accessing the traffic they will be keep running their traffic else uh, if one of goes down everything will be blocked at the last but the very important we will be also covering some of the important interview questions so though i will not keep it at the last whenever i am taking any of the topic i will be telling that what are the questions is this important and how the questions are being asked in the interviews regarding that topic so i will not keep this uh, at the last in fact uh, i will be taking up but with every topic whenever the topic comes i will be telling you that this is very important and uh, you should learn it so this is it i think uh, i'm not missing any of the part in the policies yeah i think all set now so these are the things i'm going to cover in the entire course and uh, this i will try to make the concept crisp not too lengthy so so that it will be easy to for you because uh, all the guys you are working so and whenever you have any questions you can reach out to me on the comment section of the our palo alto firewalls uh, sorry on the youtube right and uh, you can get these content on my page here you can go to the self learning and this palo alto firewalls so there i'm um, you can just have a look
that differentiations so though i have created these videos earlier but i felt it that i have not uh, told you about the palo alto firewall so basically uh, this session will be on some session two something or one or two and then these sessions will be shifted below that one so that you can just go right so i think uh, whenever i just come here i just remember that i have not taken the name of virtual router so that's how uh, the things can be that uh, i have not taken the that topic in the consideration when i was discussing that which topics i am going to cover but still if any important topic will come in between i will take those one right like this so don't just depend on that one you will be getting more that what i have uh, uh, told you in the starting that this is i'm going to cover obviously this will be covered but additional to that one whenever i feel that some of the topics are important i will cover those as well i will not uh, miss anything but i will tell give you more information so okay guys see you soon in the next video